So hi friends, this is Dr. Anshul Bansal again joining you on the Unacademy platform. As you all know, I am here to guide you through your preparations for the study of orthopedics to crack NEET PG and other uh, preparatory examinations like INICET and uh, FMG, USMLE etc. We will study in-depth orthopedics here which will not only be useful for your competitive examinations but also for your prof examinations and university examinations okay and keeping in mind the coming next pattern as well as new uh, clinical based questions in neat pg we will be focusing more on the clinical scenarios the applied part of the uh, subject and also to x-rays and images okay so uh, currently i am working as an orthopedic resident doctor in sms medical college jaipur and I have cracked the same NEET PG examination uh, last year that is in 2020 only okay so today's lecture is for NEET PG 21 uh, a month is left hardly less than a month is left so we'll be uh, studying high yield questions as well as their explanations okay uh, these are uh, questions which have asked in uh, many competitive examinations in the recent years okay so let's start okay so let's start the lecture so before starting uh, today's session i would like you to guide you through our various paid subscriptions available for neat pg uh, on the unacademy platform First is your plus subscription. In plus subscription, you will get access to both live and our recorded classes, plus all of our Q banks, and it is uh, it is framed by the top educators in India. Okay, plus you will get you can compete in live tests and quizzes and the best part is you can log into multiple devices so that you can study from the device of your choice anywhere anytime and also for the subscribers of 12 months or more we'll be providing you with the hard copy of our notes okay and you can go for this subscription and use this code to get extra 10 percent off the second one and the best one is the iconic subscription in which you will get the things that I mentioned earlier plus the prep ladder okay and all of the prep ladder all of its Q banks the video lectures as well as the rapid revision courses in an academy uh, you will get extra well planned structured uh, live batches uh, batches by esteemed faculties and a batches as well as the course is scheduled in such a way so as it is uh, very easy to learn and remember the subjects we will be building your concepts your basic concepts about the subject and topic first and then going into the in-depth knowledge about it plus you will be getting your individual assessment for every test that you give so that you can find the topics and the areas where you need to work harder okay so you can subscribe for this course using this code to get extra 10 percent off okay now uh, focusing on different uh, students who are preparing for different examinations like fmg some are preparing for next 2022 or some are preparing for the need pg for this year so um, dedicated to this we have started dedicated badges for every competitive examination so you can subscribe in those plans also and use this code to get extra 10 percent off okay and also as we all know 2021 need pg is just a month ago so we have formed a very good last minute uh, last minute package for the last one month of the need pg here you will get all of the important and the essential things that is required in the last one month for the preparation of need pg you will get the grand test the live quizzes tips and tricks the high yield questions as well as the high yield topics also all the clinical case scenarios 
okay all the image based questions okay and the recent advances okay so we have covered everything in this package so please go for this package it is very good and we are giving a discounted price for this one month package which is only for 4500 so please go for this package and we have also scheduled grand test as i have said repeated times that grand test dena is very important in last one or two months at least three to four grand tests per week and sirf dena hi important nahi hai you have to analyze yourself and also you have to read the explanations of the uh, questions that you have attempted or not attempted corrected or incorrect everything okay so this is the best way to revise okay so and also we are also running a limited time period offer in which for any subscription of 12 months you will get 2 month of that subscription absolutely free and also for our mbbs students we have started a 4 year subscription course and giving a limited time period discount on it and for iconic subscription it is only 75000 for the entire 4 years okay and i would like to suggest you to buy plan which have longer duration of time because as you can see the per month cost decreases significantly and also for the mbbs students keeping in mind the next examination you need to be focus on your studies from the starting of your course okay and we also have special classes for that you have to download the un academy app which is absolutely free and you have to subscribe on that app which is absolutely free you can subscribe using this code for the special classes and it is absolutely free okay and what is special in these classes you will get live interactive classroom like feel where you can raise hand or uh, participate in polls and clear your doubts there and there only and you can watch it anywhere anytime on your mobile application as well as you will be provided with the digital notes of the lecture okay so special class is a very good feature and i am uh, preparing a special class for wednesday 18th august uh, in which we'll study the entire lower limb orthopedics in just 100 minutes okay so please enroll for this special class and also we are running a bugs bounty program in which if you find inappropriate content in any of our educators lectures you can contact our team the link is given below and if it is found correct you will be awarded with handsome discounts and offers okay so let's start today's session and before starting the session i'll be giving you the answers and uh, would give you 10 seconds to attempt the question and uh, you can type your answer in the live chat box okay or if you have any query you can always ask in the live chat box so let's start today's session so the first question is osteo class have all of the following except okay so from the options given osteoblast does not have receptors for parathormone so the answer will be b okay now what are osteoclast osteoclast we know ki these are giant cells or multi nucleated giant cells okay which are concerned with bone resorption okay they are concerned with the bone resorption and its characteristic feature is the raffled border iski jo border hoti hai 
that is folded and these have foldings okay so this is called as raffled border the plasma membrane is folded and in the cytoplasm you have a clear zone around the raffled border and through this raffled border the osteoclast attach it, uh, attaches to the bone surface where the resorption is occurring okay and uh, this rank rank binds to the rank ligand on the osteoclast and these activate the osteoclast which in turn activates the bone resorption and parathormone also does bone resorption but its receptors are located on osteoblast not osteoclast and osteoblast then activate this rank which binds on this rank ligand which activates the osteoclast so parathormone jo hota hai this directly does not cause bone resorption by directly activating the osteoclast it uh, activates or it has receptors on the osteoblast which in turn activates the osteoclast for bone resorption uh, resorption using rank mechanism so ye ek important concept hai just remember it okay and for parathormone you have a parathormone receptor okay or it is called as parathormone re related protein receptor pthr1 located in kidneys and bone it is located on kidneys bone and also cartilages it is a g protein coupled receptor okay so this is about parathormone and here you can see the ruffled border which is folded plasma membrane facing towards the bone here the bone resorption this is the lacuna of the bone where bone resorption is occurring okay so yahan pe kya hota hai this raffled border mein high concentration hoti hai vesicles ki and this secrete a, uh, enzymes which does bone resorption and this is called as the sealed border okay or the sealed zone now here you can see the rank mechanism the rank ligand signaling regulates osteoclast formation activation as well as its survival okay so remodeling kaise hoti hai osteoblast activate hote hain jisse rank activate hota hai rank binds to the rank ligand in the osteoclast which forms the which does the bone resorption now is mechanism ko चेक में रखने के लिए देर हैज टू बी एन अनादर मेकेनिज्म नहीं तो बोन रिजॉर्बशन ही होता रहेगा तो वी हैव अ कॉम्पिटेटिव इट इज अ कॉम्पिटेटिव इनहिबिटर ऑफ रैंक एंड इट ऑल्सो बाइंड ऑन बाइंड ऑन रैंक लिगेंट ऑन द ऑस्टोग्लास सो अगर रैंक so it is competitively inhibiting the rank and in turn inhibiting the activation of the osteoclast it is called as opg or osteoprotegrin or osteoprotegrin okay just remember very important for your examination it helps in preventing excessive bone resorption okay now next question is PTH acts directly on which cell? Now it's very easy, giving you ten seconds. PTH directly acts on, as we have discussed just now, on the osteoblast. Okay, so PTH activates osteoblast. and which secrete mediators mediators jaise rank and which activates the osteoclast and also forms new osteoclast and uh, helps in its survival so this is called as osteoclastogenesis okay here you can see 
the PTH stimulates osteoblast to secrete rank ligand जो osteoclast पे जाके उसको activate कर देता है okay now next question is most vascular zone of the bone is and here are your 10 seconds okay so the most vascular zone of your bone is the metaphysis okay metaphysis is the most vascular zone of your bone and here you have hairpin loop like arterioles okay so it is the most vascular zone of a long bone it is the metaphysis having long hairpin loop arranged arterioles and venules okay here you can see in the diagram the this is your epiphyseal and metaphyseal vessels and in the metaphysis you will have this hairpin loop arterioles okay and here you have the periosteal vessels in the periosteum and through a nutrient foramina here you will have a nutrient art artery uh, entering the long bone at the diaphysis and there will be two branches ascending and descending branches and many other branches which will anastomose with the metaphyseal and the epiphyseal arteries okay so nutrient artery system mein kya hota hai every long bone mein ek ya usse zyada nutrient artery hoti hai and and with uh, yeah, it is accompanied with the vessel which enters to the nutrient foramen and ye aati kahan se hai these are high pressure system branches from the major systemic arteries okay major systemic artery se high pressure branches hoti hai and they form the ascending and the descending branches which anastomose with the metaphyseal and the epiphyseal vessels okay now next question is snapping knee syndrome is due to involvement of 10 seconds So the answer is snapping knee syndrome is due to pes anserinus. Now what is pes anserinus? Pes anserinus is basically kya hota hai? a group of three muscles. It is a group of three muscles which is sartorius, semitendinous and the gracilis all our muscles of the thigh okay and they are responsible for the snapping knee syndrome ab isme kya hota hai naam se pata chal raha there will be click sound or catching like sensations jab bhi aapke flexion and extension hoga and this is painful okay and this is painful and generally kahan pe posterior medial Okay, peach and medial, posterior medial aspect of the knee pay you experiences uh, this and this is due to the pes anserinus, sartorius, semitendinosus or semitendinous and the gracilis. Okay, it is also called as the goose foot because it, uh, it is due to the formation of the conjoint uh, tendons of these three muscles okay in three muscles ke a conjoint tendons mil jate to form this pes anserinus responsible for the snapping knee syndrome okay to snapping knee syndrome mein generally kya hota hai jo aapke tensor fascia lata hota hai it gets tightened because there is some pathology which is causing hip joint instability okay so hip joint ko unstable bana raha hai koi pathology so to make hip joint stable physiologically yeah there is tightening of the tensor fascia lata leading to the snapping knee syndrome okay so this is the snapping knee syndrome due to the pes anserinus 
ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टेनिस एल्बो इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय योर टेन सेकेंड ओके सो टेनिस एल्बो इज कैरेक्टराइज बाय द क्वेश्चन आंसर इज बी ओके टेंडिनाइटिस ऑफ द कॉमन एक्सटेंसर ओरिजिन एज वी ऑल नो टेनिस एल्बो इज लेटरल एपिकोंडाइलाइटिस एक्स्ट्रा आर्टिकुलर एंड लेटरल एपिकोंडाइल ऑफ द ह्यूमरस पे क्या अटैच होता है इट इज द ओरिजिन फॉर द एक्सटेंसर मसल्स ऑफ द फोर आर्म एंड मेजर मसल जो इसमें इन्वॉल्व हो जाती है इट इज एक्सटेंसर कार्पाई रेडियालिस लॉन्गस और इसका ऑपोजिट मीडियल एपिकोंडाइलाइटिस इज द गोल्फर्स एल्बो एंड आल्सो एक और होता है मीडियल एपिकोंडाइलाइटिस दैट इज पिचर्स एल्बो ओके सो इट इज एक्स्ट्रा आर्टिकुलर there is pain and acute tenderness at the origin of the extensor muscles that is at the lateral epicondyle okay so ye hota kaise hai jo forearm ke extensor muscles hote hai agar usme bahut zyada strain hota hai to yahan pe muscle fibers mein there is damage and there is rupture of fibers okay so this is called the lateral epicondylitis or the tennis elbow and yahan pe you have a special tennis elbow brace here ओके सो दिस पुट्स प्रेशर ऑन दिस एक्सटेंसर टेंडेंस ओके सो इट हेल्प्स इन रिड्यूसिंग द सिम्टम्स एज वेल एज प्रॉपर रिकवरी ऑफ द रैप्चर टेंडेंस ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज फ्लेक्सर डिजिटोरम टेन प्रोफंडस टेंडन अवल्जन इंजरी लीड्स टू Okay, you have discussed all of this, giving you ten seconds. Okay, so flexor digitorum tendon का अगर avulsion हो जाएगा, तो obviously बात है क्या हो पाएगा? Flexor digitorum tendon के avulsion की वजह से there will the patient will not be able to do the flexion at the finger joint. So there will be the answer will be jersey. finger okay so the answer will be jersey finger okay and in mallet finger you remember ki aise ho jata tha to dip pe yahan pe jo extensor tendons hoti thi uh, majorly extensor digitorum ka tendon uske avulsion se mallet finger hota tha now the game keepers thumb forced abduction agar hota hai kahan pe at the thumb ke ya first थम के या फर्स्ट कहाँ पे थम के या फिर फर्स्ट दिस मेटाकार्पो फेलेंजियल जॉइंट पे ठीक है मेटाकार्पो फेलेंजियल जॉइंट पे सो देर विल बी रपच्चर ऑफ विच लिगामेंट अलनर कोलेट्रल लिगामेंट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन गेम कीपर्स थम और ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज द स्कायर्स थम ओके नाउ वॉट इज Botanier's deformity. You have to uh, differentiate it with Swan neck deformity. So, if you do botanier's, then you will be get confused. So, both of them always keep differentiation in your mind because Swan neck me neck aate hi na, you will be very easy to appreciate the deformity. Okay? See, remember this picture. Mallet finger, sabko pata hai. ठीक है? Now botanier's and swan neck. So swan neck आते ही अगर ये वाली picture, this picture comes in your mind ना, so it will make it very easy for you to answer the question. So just remember the picture, take a screenshot. You so botanier's deformity में क्या होगा? There will be flexion at the proximal interphalangeal joint. This is your proximal interphalangeal joint and this. This is your distal. This is your proximal. This is your metacarpophalangeal joint. So at proximal interphalangeal joint, there will be flexion followed by hyperextension at the DIPC. 
and here in swan neck there will be flexion okay in swan neck pip pe kya hoga pip pe there will be sorry dip this is distal so dip pe there will be flexion followed by hyper extension at the pip okay so this is your swan neck deformity okay we have discussed the jersey finger and also there is bennett's fracture bennett's fracture mein kya hota hai first metacarpal ya fir thumb ki metacarpal ke base pe fracture hota hai which is intra articular okay so this is called as bennett's fracture okay so this is called as bennett's fracture okay now we come to the next question and the question is k nail can be used for all of the following fractures except your 10 seconds okay so the answer will be intertrochanteric fractures or it fractures femur fractures where k nail is not used theek hai because it femur ke fractures hote hain wo bahut proximal hote hain so nail to as you can see in the diagram it femur ka fracture jo hoga na the fracture line will be somewhere here okay so yahan pe nail dalne ka there is no sense agar aap nail shaft mein dal do aur proximal bhi dal do aur even distal bhi dal do it can work but this proximal in the intertrochanteric region it will not work so yahan pe k nail ni ek proximal femur nail hoti hai alag okay wo aap dal sakte ho or you can go for the dynamic hip screw open reduction okay you can go for this for the it femur fracture this is a k nail okay so k nail is a clover leaf shaped nail and it works on the principle of three point fixation okay see this is your k nail so the next question is extensor carpi radialis longus is here are your 10 seconds so extensor carpi radialis longus is your extensor of the forearm with the radial deviator of the wrist or it does the radial deviation of the wrist like this an extensor and it is supplied by the by the which nerve it is supplied by the radial nerve the extensor compartment is served by the radial nerve the flexor is by the median nerve except to which is flexor carpi ulnaris and flexor digitorum profundus ka medial part which flexor digitorum long uh, profundus ka medial part and both of these are supplied by the ulnar nerve okay so remember this it is the primary extensor and the radial deviator and it will cause wrist drop if there is loss of function of this muscle okay so the next question next question is thomas test is used for testing here are your 10 seconds so the answer is a that is hip flexion thomas test is used for testing your hip flexion deformity just remember this thing okay and ye kaise karte hai sabse pehle you have to lie the patient supine and there should be hard surface hamesha thomas test karte time hard surface pe patient ko letana hota hai not on not on bed or एनी गद्दा वगैरह कुछ हो उस पर नहीं एंड देन यू हैव टू फ्लेक्स दिप्स 
ओके एंड इफ देर विल बी फ्लेक्शन डिफॉर्मिटी ना तो हिप एक लिमिट से ज्यादा फ्लेक्स नहीं हो पाएगा और जब हिप एक लिमिट से ज्यादा फ्लेक्स नहीं हो पाएगा सो उस आपके प्रेशर की वजह से क्या होगा देर विल बी द रेजिंग ऑफ योर ग्लूटियल रीजन ओके बिकॉज हिप तो फ्लेक्स नहीं हो पा रहा तो प्रेशर कहा जाएगा दैट प्रेशर विल एलिवेट योर ग्लूटियल रीजन सो सीधे सिंपल मैनर में दिस इज हाउ यू डू दी थॉमस टेस्ट ओके एज यू कैन सी दिस 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 इज योर थॉमस टेस्ट ओके वेर यू डू दी फ्लेक्शन एंड जब फ्लेक्शन आप एक लिमिट से ज्यादा नहीं कर पाओगे ड्यू टू फ्लेक्स फ्लेक्शन डिफॉर्मिटी There will be this restricted condition है ना ये देखो ऊपर the thigh and the gluteal region will come up first. Now next question. A child presented to an orthopedic clinic with a limp. The surgeon suspected him to have a fixed flexion deformity of the hip. Which test should the surgeon perform to confirm his diagnosis? Okay. Very easy. We have uh, read just now. The answer will be Thomas test. But I have included this question here so that you can know about the remaining three tests also. Because Amesha Thomas test pe question nahi aayega. So whenever you do any practice paper or any question, you don't just ignore the incorrect options especially when they are the one liners like this okay so just go read note them somewhere or take a screenshot of that thing okay so it will help you to score because you are doing a revision okay so now what is thomas test we already know now what is trendelenburg's test trendelenburg's test is a repetitive question okay uh, last year also in i think jipmer or in need pg somewhere it was there okay so it is a very important test for your competitive examinations okay so what is thomas uh, sorry trendelenburg test trendelenburg test pe kya hota hai ki suppose this side is the affected side okay and if you raise the leg of the normal side above the ground or the foot above the ground normally kya hota hai ki there is no abnormal gait your pelvis is horizontally as well as vertically stable okay so but if there is any injury or there is any destruction of the hip joint or the muscles in this affected side the pelvis of the opposite limb will go downwards okay and mostly the affected muscle jo hoti hai wo kaun si hoti hai <coughs> sorry it is the gluteus muscle it is the gluteus muscle so jahan pe there will be uh, downward bending of the pelvis uske opposite side wala gluteal muscle will be injured or the affected okay the trunk will lean on the affected side as you can see the trunk is leaning here but the pelvis will tilt away from the affected side okay remember this now what is nilatens line स लाइन क्या होती है एंटीरियर सुपीरियर इलियक्स स्पाइन से लेकर इशियल टिब्रोसिटी तक इफ यू ड्रॉ लाइन इट इज समेर नियर टू द जी टी एंड इन सस्पेक्टेड डिसलोकेशन ऑफ द हिप इफ यू फील द फीमोरल हेड अब दिस लाइन देन यू कैन कन्फर्म दैट योर हिप इज डिसलोकेटेड ओके सो दिस इज निलेटन्स लाइन between asis to ischial tuberosity okay this is nilatens line now second is the second is the telescopy okay telescopy test jo hota hai wo generally it is used in pediatrics for checking the 
रेंज ऑफ मूवमेंट्स ऑफ हेड फीमर हेड फीमर के मूवमेंट्स का जो रेंज होता है उसको चेक करने के लिए यू गो फॉर द टेलीस्कोपी और इसमें क्या होता है द एग्जामिनर पुशेज द फीमर हेड ओके सो विथ फ्लैक्स नी एंड फ्लैक्स हिप इट पुशेज लाइक दिस ओके एंड इट पुशेज इन साइड ओके सो इफ द टेलीस्कोपी इज प्रेजेंट और पॉजिटिव विच इज एब नॉर्मल और पैथोलॉजिकल कंडीशन यू विल हैव एन एक्सेसिव मूवमेंट ऑफ द फिमोरल हेड इन साइड द एसिटाबुलम कैविटी ओके दिस इज टेलीस्कोपी टेस्ट नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ट्रिगर फिंगर इन्वॉल्व With which joint? Very good question. Trigger finger involves which joint? Okay, so answer will be metacarpophalangeal joint. The trigger finger will involve this joint. Now, uh, trigger finger is that condition in which your finger is locked like a trigger. ओके okay, फिंगर जो होती है वो लॉक हो जाती है ऐसे ट्रिगर में एंड यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू ब्रिंग द फिंगर बैक इन योर नॉर्मल एनाटॉमिकल पोजीशन सो जब भी स्टार्टिंग होती है तभी से इफ यू डू मसाज और फिजियोथेरेपी सो द कंडीशन विल नॉट गेट वर्स लेकिन अगर पूरा प्रॉपर ट्रिगर फिंगर बन जाते सो यू हैव टू गो फॉर द इंटरवेंशन लाइक इंट्रालीजनल स्टेरॉयड इंजेक्शन और फॉर द सर्जरी और इसमें होता क्या है एक्चुअली द थिंग इज there is a pulley over on the flexor side okay in which tendons are there so kya hota hai metacarpophalangeal joint jo hota hai yahan pe ek abnormal fibrous sheath ban jati hai jiski with time there is increased thickening so if there is thickening these tendon will get entrapped in this okay so they will not be able to do this movement of the finger that is the extension movement of the finger so this is called the trigger finger and it is at the metacarpophalangeal joint because the mouth of this fibrous sheet is at this level okay so this is your trigger finger okay so now the next is the effects of hypothyroidism on bones include your 10 seconds okay so the answer for this question will be intracranial calcification it is a feature of hypoparathyroidism so hypoparathyroidism mein kya hoga there will be decreased bone resorption so bone resorption kam hoga so bone formation zyada hoga aur kai baar abnormal jagah pe bhi ho sakta hai so ectopic bone formation or subcutaneous or in spinal cord or in intracranium part there can be calcification there can be sacroiliac sclerosis or osteosclerosis due to increased bone density metaphysis pe there will be band like density and the hip joint can also go into the sclerosis of the femur head and the acetabulum okay now hypothyroid is a uh, hypothyroidism there is difference between hypoparathyroidism and hypothyroidism okay dhyan rakhna don't get confused in this now the next question is bone transport can be used in the management of here are your 10 seconds so the answer for this question will be gap non union okay so what is gap non union gap non union is if there is 
fracture between the bone and there is also a gap after many months of the treatment so this is called as gap non-union so to make union here you need to fill this gap with you need to fill this gap with a bone graft so this is called as bone transport because bone graft mein you just take the cortical pieces and chura chura types wo nahi lete. you take an entire piece of the bone like the fibula and you insert it here okay so this is called as bone transport and it is used in the treatment of gap non-union okay so we do the osteotomy in a normal bone and a segment of that bone is transport to the non-union side okay now Aman has a question ki sir is carpal tunnel surgery a risk factor for trigger finger see carpal tunnel surgery may what you will do you will decompress the median nerve that is compressed below the flexor retinaculum okay so the carpal tunnel surgery is basically not a risk factor for the trigger finger but the carpal tunnel syndrome itself can be a risk factor because movement वहाँ पे कम हो जाएंगे, okay? And कौन से nerves में median nerve होगा तो कौन से nerves में movement कम हो जाएंगे? The movement कम हो जाएंगे on your thumb, the index finger and the middle finger, okay? Now next question is aeroplane splint is used in here is your 10 seconds okay so answer is it is used for brachial flex flexus injury here you can see in the diagram zada deep me ni jana just remember kiss me use hota hai and its image okay so it is used in aeroplane uh, splint is used in brachial plexus injury and this is a knuckle bender splint which is used in ulnar nerve injury so ulnar nerve mein kya hoga? you have what you have in the ulnar nerve ulnar nerve kya karti hai? flexion karati hai. okay so there will be loss of flexion due to fdp ka medial part and flexor carpi ulnaris okay so this is your knuckle bender splint the, this is a boston's bracelet used for the treatment of scoliosis now what is kyphosis and what is scoliosis kyphosis mein kya hoga? there will be forward bending so the spine hoga, spine mein kya hoga? there will be forward bending as a curve ho but scoliosis mein kya hota hai? the spine will be like this in the s shaped okay s -shaped. So this is your scoliosis. Now cock up splint. Cock up splint kis mein karte hai? It is used in wrist drop due to radial nerve injury. Okay. Now this is Milwaukee brace. Milwaukee brace. It is used for the treatment of various conditions like kyphosis and scoliosis also okay now the next question is all of the following are true regarding application of pop cast except here are your 10 seconds <coughs> so the correct answer for this is B. POP cast is not an anhydrous calcium phosphate, phosphate salt. It is hemihydrous. Okay. It is not anhydrous. It is hemihydrous. Okay. Now, 
if you put that plaster roll in warm uh, water to isse kya hoga jo setting of the cast hota hai wo jaldi ho jayega and cold water mein time bad jayega okay so this option is correct and it sh should not be applied in extreme swelling yes to as a uh, provocative uh, provocative proactive step to prevent कंपार्टमेंट सिंड्रोम एंड अगर टाइट प्लास्टर हो गया कंपार्टमेंट सिंड्रोम हो गया तो यस देर कैन बी गैंग्रीन सो यस दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट सो ऑप्शन बी वॉज इन करेक्ट ओके सो दिस इज योर क्वेश्चन नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज इन अनसीमेंटेड आर्थ्रो प्लास्टी ऑफ द हिप द स्टैम रिमेन्स अटैच टू द बोन बाय ओके हियर आर यू टेन सेकेंड्स okay so correct answer for this is option a this stem remains attached due to bone in growth or on growth over the surface of the stem kya hota hai jo stem hota hai us pe you have pores okay and these pores ka bhi ek optimal pore size hota hai of 3 of 100 to 400 microns and this help in formation of uh fibers and growth near the bone stem uh, near the stem uh, the prosthesis upon it all hai and it helps in the fixation of the stem into the femur without the use of cement okay so here you can see which type of arthroplasty is this this is a cemented one here you can see सीमेंट दिख जाएगी आपको यहाँ पे ओके सो दिस इज अमेंटेड वन एंड सी हियर यू विल सी नो सीमेंट सो दिस इज एन अनसीमेंटेड आर्थ्रोप्लास्टी ऑफ द हिप नाउ द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ड्यूरिंग परफॉर्मिंग अ टोटल हिप रिप्लेसमेंट द सर्जन फाउंड डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द आर्टिकुलर कार्टिलेज एंड मल्टीपल वेज शेप सब कॉन्ड्रल डिप्रेशन वॉट इज दिस कॉल्ड ओके यर आर योर टेन सेकेंड्स ओके सो करेक्ट आंसर फॉर दिस विल बी ऑस्टियो नेक्रोसिस ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज द ए वैस्क्यूलर नेक्रोसिस ए वी एन इसमें कैरेक्टरिस्टिकली आर्टिकुलर सर्फिसेज का डिस्ट्रैक्शन होगा हाइपर डेंस हाइपर डेंस फीमर हेड मिलेगा वेज शेप सब कॉन्ड्रल डिप्रेशन मिलेंगे एंड इन एम आर आई यू सी दीज एज क्रसेंट शेप ऑल्सो और वेज ही होता है क्रिशन बेसिकली थोड़ा सा डिफरेंट होता है बस एम आर आई में क्रिशन शेप यूल सी ओके सो नाउ देर इज अ स्पेशल फीचर विच इज कॉल्ड एज द सेक्टोरियल इन्वॉल्वमेंट ऑफ द एवियन जब भी एवियन फीमर हेड में होगा तो पूरे फीमर हेड में एक साथ नहीं होता सेक्टर वाइज या क्वाड्रेंट वाइज होता है जिसको बोलते हैं सेक्टोरियल इन्वॉल्वमेंट एंड इसमें फर्स्ट जो इन्वॉल्व होता है दैट इज योर एंटीरियो लेटरल क्वाड्रेंट ऑफ द फीमर हेड रिमेंबर दिस ओके सो देर विल बी मल्टीपल सिस्टिक एंड स्क्लेरोटिक एरियाज ऑल्सो विद एरियाज ऑफ डिस्ट्रक्शन एंड देर इज सिवियर आर्थराइटिस एंड यू हैव टू गो फॉर द टी एच आर ओके सी दिस इज योर नॉर्मल फीमर हेड एंड हियर इट इज योर फीमर हेड हैविंग एवियन और ऑस्टियो निक्रोसिस ओके हियर यू कैन सी पूरा डिस्ट्रक्शन हो गया है हाइपरटेंस हो गया है एंड देर इज डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द ज्वाइंट स्पेस and wedge shaped subperios subchondral depressions okay so now what is ab dusre options ko mat bhul jao osteomyelitis osteogenesis osteolysis osteomyelitis sab jante it is infection of the bone it is called as osteomyelitis okay most common bacteria causing osteomyelitis is staphylococcus and what is osteolysis 
ऑस्ट्रोलाइसिस क्या होता है ये बहुत अलग डिफरेंट कंडीशन होती है एंड पोटेंशियल क्वेश्चन मानता हूं मैं तो इसको ओके सो ऑस्ट्रोलाइसिस क्या होती है जो पेरी प्रोस्थेटिक बोन टिश्यू होता है ना क्या होता है पेरी प्रोस्थेटिक बोन टिश्यू उसका डिस्ट्रक्शन इज कॉल्ड एज दी ऑस्ट्रोलाइसिस एंड इसमें आपको पता कैसे चलता है कि आप जब आफ्टर एवरी वन टू टू मंथ्स आप जब आप बोन फ्रैक्चर लाइन की हीलिंग को एक्सेस करने के लिए असेस करने के लिए यू डू द सीरियल एक्सरेज ना देर यू सी कि यू विल हैव यू विल सी पेरी प्रोस्थेटिक बोन का डिस्ट्रक्शन होने लग गया है बोन हॉलो होने लग गई है मतलब इतनी डेंसनेस ऑफ द बोन खत्म होने लग गई है सो दिस इज कॉल्ड द ऑस्टियोलाइसिस ओके सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वॉट इज ऑस्टियोमाइलाइटिस वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इसके क्लिनिकल फीचर्स पेन फीवर एंड चिल्स होगा स्टेफाइलोकोकस बैक्टीरिया होता है इसका ट्रीटमेंट प्रोटोकॉल क्या होता है फर्स्ट यू हैव टू डू आई एन डी एंड क्योरेटाज ऑफ द बोन सेंड द सैंपल फॉर कल्चर सेंसिटिविटी एंड देन गो फॉर आई वी एंटीबायोटिक्स फॉर एटलीस्ट सिक्स टू एट वीक्स ओके नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सडन डॉर्सी फ्लेक्शन ऑफ द फुट मे लीड टू विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इंजरीज ओके सो द आंसर इज इट विल कॉज इंजरी टू द टेंडन एटलीज और टेंडो एटलीज देखो डॉर्सी फ्लेक्शन क्या होता है डॉर्सी फ्लेक्शन इज ऐसे फुट का फ्लेक्शन टुवर्ड्स द एंकल जॉइंट और द शिन इज द डॉर्सी फ्लेक्शन सो पीछे से जो पीछे पोस्टियर कंपार्टमेंट ऑफ द लेग होता है वहां पे ही टेंडो एक्लीज होती है यू ऑल नो सो अगर यू फील डू डॉर्सी फ्लेक्शन ना तो इट्स वेरी एविडेंट की देर विल बी स्ट्रेचिंग ऑफ दिस टेंडो एक्लीज सो सडन या फोर्सफुल डॉर्सी फ्लेक्शन से देर विल बी Injury to this tendo Achilles. Okay, now tendo Achilles का most common site for rupture और injury जो होता है उसको बोलते हैं watershed site है ना and इसको watershed क्यों बोलते हैं because it is the least vascular area of the tendon. That's why it is called as the watershed and it is located फोर सेंटीमीटर proximal to its attachment on the calcaneum okay this is your watershed area important for your examinations as well as for your viva okay here you can see calcaneum it the sudden and it the severe dorsiflexion tha ki there is avulsion of the calcaneum also along with tendo achilles rupture okay now i uh, you all know and this is ankle mortis in mortis view what is mortis view mortis view is 15 degree internal rotation of foot agar usme aap x ray karate ho to you get the entire ankle mortis in which you can see the joint cavity of this entire joint plus you can see the tibio fibula ke beech mein you can see the space also okay so this is your ankle mortis and medial medulla is a medial ligaments attach hote hain medial collateral ligament mainly aur uska kya naam hota hai deltoid ligament ओके एंड लेटरल मेलियोलाय से लेटरल कोलेटरल लिगामेंट्स एंड लेटरल लिगामेंट्स अटैच होते हैं हियर विल बी टिबियो फिबुलर सिंडेस्मोसिस ओके सो डेल्टोइड लिगामेंट का टियर कब होगा सी इफ दिस इज मीडियल साइड सो यहां पे प्रेशर कब आएगा डेल्टोइड लिगामेंट पे व्हेन देयर विल बी इवर्जन 
है ना इवर्जन और अबडक्शन और एक्सटर्नल रोटेशन ऑफ द एंकल जॉइंट सो देयर विल बी सडन प्रेशर ऑन द मिडिल कोलेटर लिगामेंट और द डेल्टॉइड लिगामेंट एंड हियर यू कैन सी अ क्लासिकल फीचर ऑफ द डेल्टॉइड लिगामेंट इंजरी वेयर दिस जॉइंट स्पेस बिटवीन द टिबिया एंड द टेलस विल गेट वाइडेंड ओके सो this is your normal foot with tibial nerve and if the tibial nerve will compress it will call the tarsal tunnel syndrome just like if median is compressed is for uh, wo kya kar deti carpal tunnel syndrome so agar tibial nerve is compressed it is called as the tarsal tunnel syndrome now very easy question salter harris classification is used for okay very easy salter harris classification is used for the physial injuries or the epi physial injuries okay and here you know it is of five types okay type 1 there will be only the separation of the growth plate in type 2 ग्रोथ प्लेट से ऊपर का फ्रैक्चर होगा इन टाइप टू ग्रोथ प्लेट के नीचे आईपीफाइसिस प्रॉपर का फ्रैक्चर होगा थ्री में सॉरी इन टाइप फोर दोनों का फ्रैक्चर होगा एंड द वर्स्ट प्रोग्नोसिस इज द टाइप फाइव वेयर दोनों चीजें देर विल बी दिस कंप्रेशन एंड देर विल बी इरेजर और कंप्लीट डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द ग्रोथ प्लेट दिस इज योर सोल्टर हैरिस क्लासिफिकेशन नाउ नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज मिलवॉकी ब्रेस इज यूज इन हेर आर यू टेन सेकेंड ओके सो मिलवॉकी ब्रेस is used in the answer is congenital kyphosis okay so this is a very difficult to get this is a very uh, question which have different answers in different books okay so actually milwaukee brace jo hota hai milwaukee brace can be used in many conditions of the deformities of the spine ओके सो काइफोसिस कोरियोसिस एंड दिस शुरमांस डिजीज इज आल्सो अ टाइप ऑफ काइफोसिस ओनली काइफोटिक डिजीज ही होती है ये भी ओके सो अमंग दीज द बेस्ट आंसर विल बी कॉन्जेनाइटल काइफोसिस जस्ट बिकॉज द मिलवॉकी ब्रेस बेसिकली जो होता है इट इज मोस्ट यूजफुल एंड फॉर द कॉन्जेनाइटल या छोटे बच्चों के स्पाइनल या वर्टिब्रल डिफॉर्मिटीज के लिए सो दैट्स वाई इफ ऑप्शन आर लाइक दिस ना सो इट विल बी कॉन्जेनाइटल काइफोसिस अगर इसके साथ कोई दूसरी चीज होती है जैसे नी नी की कोई डिफॉर्मिटी होती है ऑप्शन में जेनू वेलगम वगैरह या कोई क्यूबिटस वायरस वगैरह डिफॉर्मिटी होती सो ऑब्वियसली बात है जो भी स्पाइन की डिफॉर्मिटी होती बी इट शूरमांस डिजीज और दिसकोलियोसिस ऑफ एनी टाइप द आंसर वुड हैव बीन दैट बट अमंग दिस द बेस्ट आंसर वुड बी द कॉन्जेनाइटल काइफोसिस ओके सो इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज C T L S O brace, that is cervical, thoracic, lumbar, and sacral orthosis brace. Okay. This is C T L S O brace. It is a, a C here. You can in the picture you can see the Milwaukee brace. ओके शूरमैन डिजीज ये ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू ये नॉर्मल होता है बट इन डिजीज यू गेट दिस कर्वेचर लाइक काइफोसिस इट इज इन चिल्ड्रन बच्चों में होता है ये ओके नाउ सॉरी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन Locking of the knee involves. 
okay locking of the knee involves here are your 10 seconds okay so locking of the knee involves this internal rotation of the femur with foot on the ground so the physiological locking hoti hai, that is uska kaam kya hota hai? actually kya hota hai aap bahut lambe time tak zameen pe khade ho okay both lower limbs zameen pe khade hai. so to maintain that posture and lambe time tak usi posture ko khade, uh, maintain rakhna jisse muscles pe zyada sprain ya strain nahi hai there is bhagwan ne ek mechanism develop kiya hai jiske andar aap khade ho to obviously aapka ground foot pe touch hai aur jaise hi aapka ground foot pe touch hai aapki tibia kya ho gayi fix ho gayi so aapki tibia fix ho gayi and apne aap long time standing pe there will be inter, internal rotation of the femur yani femur bhi aapke knee joint mein fix ho jayega towards the medial side okay so this is called as the locking of the knee so when the femur is internally or medially rotated on a fixed tibia this allows the knee to remain in the position of full extension as in the standing without much muscular efforts and bahut importantly this is due to very important quadriceps femoris muscle okay now clinically true knee locking jo hota hai true knee locking kya hota hai jab aapke physically stuck ho jaye due to some pathology or the trauma this is true knee locking okay now next question foot drop occurs due to involvement of here are your tension okay so answer will be all of the above. foot drop mein foot aise ho jayega to obviously baat hai dorsiflexus ki injury hogi to bhi foot drop ho sakta hai common peroneal ki injury mein sciatic nerve ki injury mein sab mein foot drop ho sakta hai so foot drop will occur due to all of these what is march gangrene march gangrene mein kya hota hai jo anterior compartment of the thigh hota hai lower limb wahan pe kya hota hai compartment syndrome develop ho gaya so if there is compartment syndrome na so uh, it will develop into gangrene and it will move it will move sabse pehle toes mein gangrene hoga na so it will move towards the proximal side this is called march gangrene and march gangrene kyun bolte hain isko because it occurs in after strenuous exercises koi insaan hai jisko exercise ya heavy वर्क करने का फिजिकल वर्क करने की आदत नहीं है एंड सडनली उसने बहुत सारा हेवी वर्क कर लिया ओके सो इट विल कॉज द एंटीरियर कंपार्टमेंट सिंड्रोम एंड इट कैन लीड टू मार्च गैंग्रीन ओके नॉन न्यूरोलॉजिकल कॉजेज में पेरोनियल और कॉमन पेरोनियल डीप पेरोनियल एंड द शियाटिक नर्व कैन बी द कॉज ऑफ फुट ड्रॉप ऑल्सो लंबो सेट्रल प्लेक्सी में प्लेक्सिस जो होता है उसमें कोई भी इंजरी हो जाए और रेडियोलोपैथी या एम एन डी मोटर न्यूरोन डिजीज में ओके और सेरिप्रोलीजन्स में इट कैन ऑल्सो मैनिफेस्ट एज अ फुट ड्रॉप एंड वॉट इज चारकोड फुट अनादर पोटेंशियल क्वेश्चन चारकोड फुट क्या होता है फुट ड्रॉप इज ड्यू टू न्यूरोलॉजिकल यानी नर्व मस्कुलर यानी किसी मसल की पैथोलॉजी और ड्यू टू अनाटमिकल डिसफंक्शन इन तीनों के अगर कॉम्बिनेशन है इन तीनों की कॉम्बिनेशन की वजह से अगर फुट ड्रॉप हो रहा है सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज दी चारकोट फुट ओके सो दिस वॉज ऑल अबाउट सम इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन एंड हमने बहुत डिफरेंट एंड बहुत नए नए टॉपिक्स लिए जनरली जो आपको कहीं कवर नहीं कर मिलते इन जनरल टेक्सट बुक्स ओके सो जस्ट रिवाइज लाइक दिस इट इज द बेस्ट वे टू डू रिविजन 
ओके एंड इफ क्लिनिकल क्वेश्चंस ज्यादा आ रहे हैं तो उसमें आपको लॉन्ग क्वेश्चंस होंगे विद लॉन्ग इन्वेस्टिगेशन के पूरा या हिस्ट्री सो उनको देख के जस्ट डोंट गेट अफ्रेड और डोंट गेट एंशियस उसमें एक या दो बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट या पैथोग्नोमिक फीचर होंगे दैट विल लीड टू द डायग्नोसिस एंड द आंसर ओके सो पीस पीसफुली एंड कॉन्सेंट्रेट होके उसको पढ़ना वाइल अटेम्प्टिंग द क्लिनिकल क्वेश्चन ओके एंड वन मोर द एग्जामिनर नोज की आप एम बी बी एस लेवल के हो तो आपसे एम बी बी एस लेवल का क्वेश्चन ही पूछेंगे तो ज्यादा दिमाग मत लगाना ठीक है ज्यादा एक्सट्रीम या बहुत ही एक्सट्रीम लेवल के डायग्नोसिस बनाने की कोशिश मत करना एंड ऑप्शंस को बहुत केयरफुली रीड करना और अगर आंसर समझ नहीं आ रहा है या कंफ्यूजन है जस्ट रिव्यू लेटर का ऑप्शन करके आगे बढ़ जाना किसी भी क्वेश्चन पे फोर टू फाइव मिनट्स भी बहुत ज्यादा होते हैं अगर आप लगा रहे हो तो ओके एंड लास्ट टाइम मैनी स्टूडेंट्स के साथ ये प्रॉब्लम हुई थी इनफैक्ट मैनी ऑफ माय फ्रेंड्स आल्सो फेस दिस प्रॉब्लम की सेक्शन वन एंड टू डिडेंट हैव मच क्लिनिकल क्वेश्चंस देर वर मेनली वन लाइनर्स लेकिन जो सबसे बड़ा सेक्शन uh, होता है क्वेश्चन थ्री सेक्शन थ्री दे वर फुल ऑफ क्लिनिकल क्वेश्चन सो स्टार्टिंग में सबने सोचा अरे इजी पेपर है आराम आराम से करेंगे कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है ओके एंड एज सुन एज दे केम सो दे गॉट टेंस एंड दे गॉट एंशियस एंड सो वो टाइम uh, बहुत लगा दिया बहुत से स्टूडेंट्स ने सो टाइम मैनेजमेंट की वजह से बहुत से स्टूडेंट्स पेपर ढंग से अटैम्प्ट नहीं कर पाए थे सो बिवेयर ऑफ दिस कंडीशन एक <coughs> टाइम लिमिट लेके चलना है टाइम मैनेजमेंट रख के चलना है ओके सो रिमेंबर दिस थिंग किसी भी क्वेश्चन पे किसी भी सेक्शन पे ज्यादा टाइम वेस्ट नहीं करना है आपको लग रहा है मेरे को नहीं आ रहा है मेरे को सोचने से आ जाएगा बाद में सोच लेना एटलीस्ट सारे क्वेश्चन अटैम्प्ट तो करो ओके सो दिस इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग एंड द वेरी वेरी सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट कि All of you have to attempt at least 185 to 190 questions out of 200. At least इतने तो सबको attempt करने ही करने हैं. Okay, so do lots of revision, do lots of questions, focus on your studies. Insta, Facebook, एक महीने के लिए भूल जाओगे, कुछ नहीं बिगड़ेगा, कोई कहीं पे भी नहीं जा रहा. But don't take too much stress. ओके पॉजिटिव माइंड एंड पॉजिटिव एंड क्या बोलेंगे उसको द रिलैक्स्ड माइंड इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिफोर द एग्जामिनेशन अच्छे से खाओ एंड स्लीप वेल ओके आई एम प्लानिंग अ स्पेशल क्लास ऑन वेडनर्सडे दैट इज एटीन दैट सेवन पी एम फॉर Discussing lower limb orthopedics in just hundred minutes. So in hundred minutes, अपन पूरी lower limb discuss करेंगे. Starting from the pelvis to femur, knee, patella, tibia, your ankle, your foot, the nerves and vessels, the ligaments of the knee. Okay, every important thing related to lower limb orthopedics we'll discuss is which is relevant for NEET PG in just hundred minutes. so please please attend this class okay and you can attend this class by downloading the unacademy app which is absolutely free plus what you have to do you have to download the unacademy app open it and subscribe it under the free subscription package using this code and this is also absolutely free okay so i hope you like today's lecture okay if you have any doubts you can ask here okay i am giving you like 10 to 15 seconds and if you like the video you please like share and subscribe okay and please do subscribe it is absolutely free okay so i am planning another youtube live session 
just like 50 minutes baad at 1 pm i am about to go live again and at 1 pm we'll discuss very very important topic that is bone tumor okay bone tumors as you all know is a very important topic okay so we'll be discussing that 